it's really important to at least supplement the um, curriculum with the moving image, geography, history, because most of the films we show, current events as well, address those um, themes, issues, challenges, and a lot of these children are first generation American born kids. My father, he loved Kwaku Nazi stories. Do you guys know anything about Kwaku Nazi? Uh, Kwaku Nazi, like, there's a fable about him, like, he, like, during his really mother in law's funeral, I believe, like, he got, he, he became bald because, because, because he decided to starve for eight days. Right. right. There are many, many Kwaku Nazi stories. Um, these stories uh, originated in West Africa, and then they traveled to the New World. Um, and you can see from the worksheet here that there are many uh, trickster figures and fables, not just the spider, but um, the rabbit um, is also, um, there are many stories that have uh, come from Kwekwanansi fables. What does that mean, the director's style? The artists do their style, their own, they actually put their own personality okay. and everything that they experience in their life into the movie to make it actually similar to them and to actually teach someone about how they feel themselves. Yeah. I think Afronos is a movie about the desire to go higher and run away, but ultimately its story is more about staying where you are and building from where you are. Mm -hmm. Right? And those things can coexist. You know, so you're not running away from your history or running away from your situation, um, but more using imagination as a way of building. Off of inference, because I, not necessarily that doesn't necessarily be the reason why he was crying, but from my inference, I think it's because um, he saw his grandmother and she had died and he didn't expect that. Very wise inference on your part. Um, did you hear what she said? Okay. Yes, because um, while Lily was having the experience um, with the circle of dancers and the goddesses that were around, the goddess in blue is the one is Yemaya, who's kind of a very celebrated goddess in Brazil. The one in yellow and gold that you talked about is Oshun, who is a very celebrated goddess in Cuba, but they're both Yoruba goddesses. Um, so while she was in that world, her grandmother died. And so when she kind of came back, she saw her grandmother, but she was, to me, it looked like she was kind of still in the spirit world a little bit. I'm hoping this splice of information or programming will, will help these young children shift between what is um, important what is realistic and what gives them hope. There is another world that is, you know, they're connected to um, that, you know, uh, represents positive, forward thinking um, and the future.